I wanted to shoot a follow-up video to the earlier review for the Rainbow Pixels. Um, had these up about two weeks now, two, two and a half weeks. And I had them on the roof just with these regular C9 roof clips um, clipped up to the gutters. And uh, really liked that, that it worked great. There wasn't any special modification. There's no special clip, nothing that, that needed done with these. Um, and there really wasn't any problem with these at all uh, while they were up on the roof. When I started to take them down, because um, I wanted to be able to do a, a closer visual inspection of you know the circuits and the wires and all that, um, when I started to take them down, I, I started losing covers. Um, now they're just they're just on there with a little uh, I think it's hot glue or something like that um, and it, it seemed to be fine as long as they were up there and they were static I had a couple of these come loose when I was putting them up and I just ran a little bead of, of hot glue around the, the ri uh, rim of it and stuck it back down um, and kind of figured I was was probably fine was probably good to go but as I started taking these down um, it seemed to be that there was ones that were falling off and there was ones that were on their way to falling off. Um, so most of these are getting really loose. I would say, you know, just kind of be gingerly, be a little careful with them um, as you start to to take them off or take them out of the clips. Um, also, I'm starting to get, and you can kind of see it right around the edge here, a little orange color. Um, in my past experience, that's rust. Uh, I don't know if it's rust, not without cutting the silicone jacket off and taking it apart, but most of the ingress problems with these pixels aren't in the back here. This is a pretty, pretty good connection. Um, most of the problems that I've had is actually right up here at the top, and I was kind of hoping um, that with these lenses, going down over that and with that glue you know running all the way around the outside that that would kind of be a, a solution um, or an answer to that problem of ingress but as these are all loose and coming off um, I'm thinking that maybe I have had some water penetration at that seam and the problem with that is that without any drainage, any hole, any way for it to get out of the inside of the lens, um, I've got a feeling that what it's doing is it's going back down inside of there. So, um, I'm not sure, you know, what needs to be done to fix that. I'm not sure that there is a better way um, to do these than, than what's been done. Um, I think it's just going to be an issue that we're going to have to watch um, and deal with. Now, I took these down because I went ahead and I started setting up. Since starting the animations, my wife has begged me every year, can't, one year can't we just do plain white lights? And this year with the move and everything else, I decided not to do the show. So we're doing plain white lights. And these are actually my C9 Retros from CDI. This is our third, fourth season on these. And... Um, they're still working great. Out of uh, 125 bulbs, I've lost five bulbs in uh, three, four years now. So, went ahead and got those up, so I needed to make room on, on the roof and took these down. Um, I'm going to put these back up and just keep running them. I am going to try to fix these covers just so that that's kind of, you know, fair, I think. Just to make sure that um, they are the way they're intended to be. I've got a feeling if I put these out, just these loose bulbs like this, that they'd probably be shot within a matter of days. So, um, <coughs> gonna keep watching. I mean, this one's really, you really see the rust on that. So, I'm just gonna keep monitoring these for now. Um, see how they weather this season. You know, I don't have a show or anything banking on them at this point. So, um, I'm just gonna see how they do and we'll go from there.